What's up everyone? This is Steven from TheEmotionMachine.com and this video is about the right to take up space. I notice that many people in this world, especially those who suffer from low self-esteem or low confidence, have the belief that they don't have the right to take up space. These people walk through life trying to be as little of a disturbance as possible. They never speak their minds, they never do things that they want to do, they never dress as they want, they're never really living their lives because they are too afraid of upsetting other people or being judged for being themselves. Here's one little but common example that I often find, and it's going to sound a bit silly, and it's actually more of a pet peeve of mine, but have you ever noticed some people, when they sneeze in public, they try to hold it in, or instead they give out a small <coughs> sound, you know, because it's amazing to me that people are so hesitant to even do something as common and innocuous as a sneeze because they don't want to take up space and they don't want to disturb others. And a sneeze is natural and something that's mostly involuntary. You can't blame someone for sneezing or even coughing during a movie or a play where people are supposed to not disturb. So imagine how these same people deprive themselves of taking up space when they actually want to do something or want to say something. A lot of people are too afraid to claim the space they rightfully deserve. They are too busy trying to stay out of the way. You know, there are some people where they're at a concert or they're at a bar or on a train and someone runs into them and they're the ones apologizing. So someone runs into you and you're the one saying sorry. Why not just apologize for your existence at that point? I know these examples are small and you're probably thinking, who really cares? But to me, these are possible symptoms of a much greater problem. If someone doesn't feel like they have the right to take up space, they're going to be literally and figuratively walked over throughout their whole life. How often does this person not communicate their thoughts and opinions? How is that affecting their relationships at home and at work? How is this person's self-esteem if they are never standing up for themselves or the right to express themselves and be themselves? A good artist, musician, or performer knows how to take up space. They know how to stand up and be like, this is me, this is my work, I want you to see what I can do. Interestingly, there was a study published last year in the journal Thinking Skills and Creativity that discovered people with narcissistic tendencies are more likely to pursue creative activities. And you know, people always say artists and musicians have huge egos and they are full of themselves. I think one of the best examples of this is Kanye West, who is in my mind probably one of the most creative hip-hop artists and pop musicians of our time, and yet someone who has an enormous ego and sense of self-worth. But one of the possible benefits of narcissism is giving yourself the right to take up space. Now, many people who are really high narcissists maybe take up too much space to the point where they are disrespectful to other people and they don't respect other people's boundaries, but narcissism, like any personality trait, is a spectrum. And perhaps there are some people who are too, too low on that spectrum and can actually benefit from being a little more narcissistic. Though, let's not call it narcissism, let's just call it confidence or self-worth. The key is it's about balance. I think one of my favorite people who embodies this personality and this right to take up space is actually Salvador Dali. Um, whether he was walking his pet anteater around New York City or borrowing his friend's Rolls Royce and filling it up with cauliflower and driving it, driving it around Paris. Given Salvador Dali was a bit of an attention whore and liked to shock people, but he was certainly someone who knew his right to take up space and took advantage of it. Many people who feel like they don't have the right to take up space often ask themselves, why me? Why should I have the opportunity to show off who I am or express myself? And maybe you can't think of any really good reasons. However, the people who do feel like they have the right to take up space ask themselves, why not me? Why shouldn't I have the opportunity to show off who I am and express myself? And they too can't think of any really good reasons. You have just as much of a right to take up space as anyone else who exists in this world, right? 
What gives anyone else a special privilege to take up space but not you? Taking up space is a balancing act. It requires you to test your boundaries, expand yourself, and put yourself out there. And when you put yourself out there more, you're going to get a lot of feedback from others, both positive and negative. You're going to find some people like you and agree with you, while others don't like you so much, disagree with you, or maybe even just flat out consider you an enemy or a threat. Taking up space does mean that you're more likely to be judged, but that's something that you're only going to get more used to and comfortable with as you put yourself out there more. The more you're judged and the more you put yourself out there, the more you become desensitized to negative feedback, which means you're becoming more comfortable being yourself despite what others think, and sometimes that can be a really valuable trait to have. Because if you're living your life the way you personally see fit, which I think we all aim for, then you're going to have to know when to ignore what other people think, and that making yourself happy doesn't always mean making everyone else happy. I think each and every one of us has the right to take up space and express who we are. This includes the freedom to think as we want, speak as we want, dress as we want, and act as we want, so long as it doesn't infringe on the rights of others. So don't hesitate or be afraid to take up more space in your life and show the world who you really are and what you stand for.